today is Tuesday, October 4th, 2011, and after a very long time away, I am back again with the Talk To Me Tuesday. So, um, while I've been away, I've done a few things, So I have, but I have done a little bit since then. I don't really have a lot to make a video about until recently, like now. Um, but I am currently working on a blanket, and it is enormous, and I will put in a picture of it right now. Bing! So, this is my blanket. It is a crazy blanket, and I'm sure all of you guys are going to comment and be like, Oh my god, I love that blanket, but you're going to be like, That is the ugliest effing blanket I've ever seen. Mean girl style, you know, because it is insane. But um, a lot of my friends have given me the yarn that I used, and um, it's all just scraps from different things. And I'll show you the stuff that was given to me in the blanket. It's kind of crazy. Um, I won this stuff from the was it? Uh, UFO challenge when I got second place. And this one was from Open Gen. This eyelash. And then this eyelash was also with this pom pom. And I got this from Jewel 68. And I also got this pink from Jewel 68. And this purple is from Open Gen. This purple eyelash. And I love it. I really love how this is shaping together. This is my first adult size crochet blanket and I'm going to make it like 7x7. Seven seven. I don't know how big it is right now. I have not measured it or anything yet. But really almost 5 feet. Maybe 5 feet right now. So, and it's getting to the point where I can crochet it and use it at the same time. So that's pretty cool. You don't get to do that when you knit blankets. My crochet is getting better. I started in the middle with this, it's called a kata, it is not a granny square, but it is a kata. And it starts out with this circle, and then it turns into a square, eventually, a smaller version of it, right here. So that's when it, the first, I ended this first row where it became a square. So. Is that? So that's the middle of this, and then I just turned it into a granny square and kept going around and around and around and around because I have a million rows now. So, and it is so warm, I love it. But yeah, so this this kata is probably going to go to Ovengen for Linus because I have no idea what I'm going to do with it now. <laughs> but um, I also made this little basket weave patch thing, square, that I'll probably send her to, to see if she can use it. So that's that. Anyway, I got a kit one year for Christmas with all these patterns on cardboard. But one pattern my aunt really liked, and she has been bugging me since then to make them for her. And I made a bunch of these. It is a jacuzzi. Isn't that cute? And so here is one that I have made. I made two in the blue, one in black, and then one in blue with a black stripe. So there's that. I made like four of them. Recently, I made my first pair of socks. Yay. And um, it was a really easy pattern. I loved it. I loved doing it. Did not have any problems with it, actually, which is really surprising. Everybody says socks are so difficult, but I had no problems. It's my first pair of socks. <laughs> so, um, this is the pattern that I used. Gotta be at an angle. But yeah, and they turned out way cuter than the ones in the picture. This is a really bad picture. Like, for real. Um, but as I was making them, my boyfriend came in and promptly goes, Oh, are you making those for me? So I ended up making them for him, and he has them, but I have pictures, so I will put one in right now. I have 
no idea whether or not I showed you what I made for my friend Mel's baby. I made a little cardigan with a button, a crocheted button that I made out of ribbon, yellow ribbon, because I made it before she found out what she was having. And she just had the baby a couple days ago, maybe a week ago now. I made her bonnet <laughs> and oh, a pair of booties and a cardigan with a crocheted little button and everything had the same yellow ribbon on it so it all matched together and it was all made out of the same yarn and blah 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 and um before her baby shower I did not have time to finish her blanket well I mean I had the time I was just very lazy again <laughs> uh, so but here's her blanket that I made whoa white yeah it is very very soft it is made out of a it kind of reminds me of like a boucle kind of made out of this yarn it is crazy insane and it's got little boop boop things I don't know and then the most recent thing that I finished is this scarf there you go now you can see them it's got white with little pink dots all over it and this is blue red heart buttercup but this one is craft related. I have one thing to show that is craft related, and then I have a bunch of things to show that are not craft related. But I told somebody, I told those Muffin XC that I would show them, so I will. Um, I went to the flea market recently. Um, I forget what city it's in. I don't know, it's Dixieland Flea Market. So if you've heard of it, um, but they have this antique shop in there and they have all kinds of crazy things. When we went, I found this big huge box of thimbles. So I started rifling through them. I found a kitty cat. Mm, meow! Kitty kitty. And it has little holes in the top. So it is a thimble. But it's, it's pewter and it's a kitty kitty. This is a cross stitch I started a very long time ago and then scrapped it for whatever reason because I did not feel like doing it anymore. It was annoying. And I took it off my hoop. Well, my Q-snap. Ooh, special. For a project that I did using this book that Jeremy got me for my birthday, my boyfriend Jeremy. Um, it is 101 alphabets. Cross stitching, yay! And it has all kinds of fonts in it that are just obscenely lovely. All different sizes and stuff. And the other one that I started after I scrapped that one, it said microwave minutes are longer than normal minutes. It's really, it's really cool. I love it. I can't find it. It's just gone, I guess. I'll find it eventually and show you. So, they show you how to turn a signature into a cross stitch. So that's helpful for making, you know, signature quilts and stuff like that. And then it comes with your own with charts to make your own patterns and it comes with everything from eight and a half count. 222 count. It's it's a really nice book. If you do cross stitching, you want to do some samplers and stuff like that, I suggest you buy this book. Doze Muffin XC. I probably butchered your name completely and utterly. It's all right. Um, she mentioned in one of her videos. I've been catching up over the weekend and everything, and yesterday on videos that I've missed. And she mentioned in one of her past videos that she was going to go geocaching and so I decided to show off my trinket stash oh yeah got a lot so this is one that I got out of a swamp yeah we went all the way into the swamp to get a cache yeah. wasn't very fun but I got and of course, since the ground was wet, I got a 
squirt gun. It is a rubber duck with reindeer antlers. And it's a squirt gun. This is a little Curious George with a pot of noodles. This is a But Ugly Martian from a TV show. And I have a fighting man. I have no idea what he is. I got him out of a gumball machine. Um, for you Star Wars nerds, I am a huge Star Wars nerd. I love Star Wars. This is... I have no idea what she is, but she is amazing. I love her. <laughs> a lot of ceramic figurines because I don't know if you guys have this around where you live, but um, my mom drinks Red Rose tea and in every package of Red Rose tea there is a ceramic figurine. So I have a cherub for Valentine's Day. It is a little Cupid. And I have book books and a it is a graduation cap. There you go. Mm -hmm. So that's for like June. Graduating May something. I don't know. But here's a little beaver. He is very cute. And here is a seal with bow tie because bow ties are cool. And I have a little girl with flowers. Cute. A, I love him, a little leprechaun. And a Christmas tree. An Easter bunny. And a turtle, a sea turtle with water and anything. And a turkey. I like the little turkey, he's very cute. And I have a bunch of assorted things. And pogs. Do you remember pogs? Pogs are awesome. Um, that's all for me this week. Um, hopefully I'll be back next week with progress on the blanket and maybe some other really cool fun stuff happy tuesday and happy crafting to you all i've missed you so much let's just let's just have a hug moment oh hug yay okay so have a good week everybody and i look forward to seeing your videos bye bye